once I understood this, it completely changed the way that I approached these charts. It made me much more profitable and it helped me plan my trades better because I could determine if the trade I was entering was going to be a swing trade that I could hold for many days or potentially even weeks or simply just a scalp trade like the trade I am in right now, okay? First of all, welcome to crypto winter, everybody. It is very cold out here. I am bundled up trading outside in the cold and I'm coming in here for your guys' benefit because what I'm about to share completely revolutionized the way that I trade. You can see here, I am in two positions right now. I am in a short trade from all the way up here at $18,275, as well as a long trade that I am in here from about $18,274. One is a swing trade, one is a scalp trade. And today I wanna to talk about identifying those major pivots, those key highs and lows where you can expect the price to continue in that direction for a number of days, and then identifying areas of support or resistance where you can expect a scalp trade or a day trade. Okay, make sure to like the video, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. So when we are coming to the charts, we always want to make sure that we are able to identify key areas of what is high and what is low. Why? Because the most fundamental thing about trading is buy low and sell high, right? Buy low and sell high. When you first got into trading and you told your grandfather, Grandpa, I'm going to get myself into trading. What did he tell you? He said, son, let me, let me learn you a thing or two about investing, son. Investing so dang easy, even you could do it, all right? But all you have to do is buy low and sell high. It's so easy, right? But for some reason, human nature says, don't buy low and sell high, right? Human nature says when price is dumping and it's down here, we should be looking to short, right? Because price is going to zero. Or when price is pumping, oh my gosh, we need to go long right now because price is going to 100K, Bitcoin bull run, back in action, right? Wrong. Here's the thing. We need to identify areas of highs and lows. And the way we do that is by looking at the chart and saying, where does price historically form a clearly defined low? And where does price historically form a clearly defined high? Okay. And we're just going to be looking at the chart and marking these things out. And you can see that I have some lines on my chart right here. And right here, these are going to determine for us lows and highs. Now, this is step one. Step number two is using the indicator to determine, is this level going to actually be a high? Okay. Now, both of these pivots here, after price formed a clearly defined high and a clearly defined low, I was able to take a long from right here and a short from right here. And both of these trade setups were given in advance over in my VIP Discord. You can see right here, all the way back in November, the only long I was interested in was a CDW of this low right here. And the reason for that is because it was a clearly defined low. Also, I did give the trade setup to take a short from $18,300. And the reason is because it was a clearly defined high, right? So the, the first step, to understanding whether or not a, a there's a major pivot coming is identifying those major highs and lows. The second step, and by the way, if you do want to join the VIP Discord, where we give the trade setups in advance, we give the levels every single day, we do multiple live streams a week, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper, okay? The second step, guys, is identifying those signs on the indicator that are going to tell you if it's a major high or low. There's two time frames that I use to determine if a major high or a major low are coming in. That is number one, the four hour time frame, and number two, the one hour time frame. What I am looking for as price is coming to a key area of support or resistance is I want to see, first of all, I will look at the four hour time frame, and there's two things I want to see on market cipher B. Number one, are we getting bullish divergences? Okay, that is the first thing that we want to see. Or, or bearish divergence. And the second thing I want to see is, is the money flow on market cipher B also diverging? What, what does this mean? What is a divergence? Okay. A divergence is when price and momentum are doing the opposite things. Right here, we can see that the momentum waves on market cipher B are getting higher as the price is getting lower. And secondly, we can see, and this is very important here, we can see that the money flow on market cipher B is getting higher as the price is getting lower. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the RSI is right here. I'm going to go in, ahead and turn off the VWAP right here and even the, the, the dots, okay? And we can see here that the money flow on the four-hour time frame, this, this purple wave right here, is getting higher as the price is getting lower. When you see this on the four-hour time frame, it is telling you that a major key swing trade potential level is 
here. Okay. Notice what happens when we also come to the high that we just put in the other day. We come up to the high. Look at the money flow on the four hour time frame. It is getting lower. Okay. We can go back historically and just back test this on the four hour time frame. When we see that the money flow is getting lower as the price is getting higher, this is a key swing trade top. Okay. We're using the four hour time frame. When we see that the money flow is getting higher over time, as the price is getting lower over time, this was a key swing trade signal on market cipher B. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is identify those key areas of support and resistance. The second thing we want to do is identify what we are looking for on market cipher. Okay, now the four hour time frame is going to be one of the most powerful time frames that we have to identify this and we want to see two things again we want to see the money flow and the momentum waves diverging with the price so if the price is getting lower and lower we want to see sam bankman freed's man boobs getting higher and higher notice how for some reason okay the fat distributes unevenly on his body we don't know why the truth is guys bodies are very complex fat does not always distribute equally right you might notice you have super jacked biceps but you have a huge beer gut why no one knows for certain but in the case of sam bankman freed his man boobs are getting higher uh, and also we could see the money flow is getting higher as well right here okay now notice something before bitcoin dumped back uh in early november look at sam bankman freed's man boobs here right they were actually getting lower okay he was hanging upside down and no offense, Sam Bankman free, bro, but you got to do some push-ups or something because you're not in the kind of shape to hang upside down like this, right? You see a guy like this hanging upside down, he's probably going to take a tumble, right? He's probably going to take a tumble down. And that's exactly what happened, right? He took a tumble down, okay? So those are the two things that we need to be aware of. The four-hour time frame works great uh, for identifying those major key swing trade areas, right? Where we can look to hold the trade for multiple days at least, Okay. Now, another time frame that works very well is the one hour time frame, because sometimes we won't see it on the four hour, but we will definitely see it on the one hour. So once we can identify these key areas, this now can give us context into the market, because if I'm coming to the chart right now and I am looking for, let's say I'm looking for a long trade because prices is, is coming down lower. And so the next major trade that I'm going to be looking for right now is, is not going to be a short. It is going to be a long, right? And so what I can do understanding this four hour time frame context is now I can say, okay, does it look like we are about to print a major bottom on the four hour time frame to look for a swing trade? Or am I going to be looking for maybe a scalp trade where I can maybe along a reversal, a retracement like this, and then price keeps coming lower, right? This is basically what we have to understand. Okay. After we put in the initial high, right? I gave in the VIP discord, two levels that I was looking to scalp from. The first level was 17.2 to 17.3. And the second level was 16.8 to 16.9K. Why these levels? Because these were areas of support along the way down. But I knew that these were not going to be swing trades. I knew these were going to be scalps. So in the VIP live stream I did yesterday, I told everybody in the community, look, I'm looking to take scalps from these levels. The reason why we're looking to take scalps only from these levels is because we can see that we have just printed a high time frame bearish divergence, right? So it's very unprobable that all of a sudden we're going to get a massive move to the upside right here, okay? We need to make sure that the lower time frames and the higher time frames are telling us there's going to be a macro reversal. So the thing I would want to wait for is I would want to wait until I started to see maybe the four hour money flow coming down, starting to get a little bit higher. Maybe these four hour momentum waves, maybe also starting to get a little bit higher. And that would tell me a macro reversal is in place, but I'm not going to close my swing short until we get those macro reversal signs. Now, it's also very important that we know how to mark key areas on a chart. Why did I give these two levels? It's because we had very technical things, right? We had a value area high, single prints, a golden pocket, a daily level, a naked daily point of control. 
if you want to learn technical analysis so that you can take trades on smaller term time frames, so you can take little scalps, like the long scalp that I'm in right now, guys, just made a quick little profit here. Even in this big dump, while I'm holding the short, made a quick little profit right here. If you want to learn this stuff, guys, check out learn.jasoncaspertrading.com. We are having a special right now, 30% off a festive season holiday special on both courses. We have an intro to trading course. This will give you everything you need to have a plan when you come to the charts. We also do have an order flow course. This will teach you how to read an order flow chart to really dig in on exocharts, on coinalize.net and get much more information. You could check out the previews for free on the website, learn.jasoncaspertrading.com. Make sure to take advantage of that um, discount. The discount code is in the description of the video, guys, uh, and the pinned comment, so make sure to check that out. So once we understand the key highs and the key lows, and we understand that once these higher time frames are telling us something, is probably going to continue until we get a major sign of reversal. For example, on market cipher B, right, we had the top signal up here, and then we didn't get the bottom signal until right over here. Okay, so we have plenty of time to catch these reversals, right? We get the top signal right here. We didn't get the bottom signal until way down here. And again, we got a bottom signal on market cipher B right about here. We didn't get a top signal until way over here. This is going to give us those high time frame levels, right? So after we have our high time frame levels, then we can use the lower term time frames to get into scalps. For example, if we know that we do have a um, a potential level, in fact, we do have a level right here, which is why we are getting a little bounce. If we know that we have a level, let's say right down here, then we can look on the lower time frames and see do we see the confirmations that we'd be looking for and the answer here is yes on the 24 minute time frame we see a bullish divergence and we also see the money flow getting higher on the 12 minute time frame we see a bullish divergence right here and we also see the money flow on market cipher b getting higher however because the higher term time frames are still bearish this is telling me we need to take profit sooner and basically be uh, holding this trade as if it's a scalp trade and not necessarily a swing trade. Now, once I understood this, it really made things a lot easier for me because I was approaching every trade as if it was going to be that massive move to the all-time high or the all-time low, right? Instead of understanding the market context, understanding that most of the time assets are going to be ranging in between clear highs and clear lows, right? Just like we can see right here, we had a clear low, a clear high, price came to the clear low, got a bounce, claim, came to the clear high, got a rejection. We were prepared for these, gave the setups in advance in the VIP Discord. On the way down, the levels of support, 17.2 and 17.8. If we take a look at where we found support, the first way down, right here at 17.2 um, was the first area where we actually got a little scalp potential trade. And then again, 17, um, I'm sorry, yeah, 17.2 and then 16.8. That's where we're at right now. Uh, we've gotten a few little bounces from this area. This then is telling us where we can look for those scalp trades on the way down. So guys, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I hope you found this super helpful. If you did, guys, uh, well, I'm, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. I'm happy that I can make content that can help people get better at doing what I love to do, which is trading Bitcoin. God bless everybody in the name of Jesus, the Messiah. I pray everybody is super, super blessed. I will see everybody in the next video. It is a Friday. Have a great weekend. Peace.